Welcome back to Arise Entertainment 360. Now, nine states and Washington, D.C. have legalized recreational marijuana. So our next guests are, well, sort of providing a luxury service for those who decide to partake in the festivities. Philip Andrews and Heath Grouch are co-founders of Tree Trunk. Welcome to Arise 360. Thank you. Thanks Thank you for having us. us. Okay, so I see the trunks here. Uh, just to clarify, go ahead and tell everybody what you put in the trunks. <laughs> uh, they're for uh, storing your cannabis and cannabis accessories. So not cigars. Not no, <laughs> for cannabis, so you put weed and weed accessories in these boxes. Right. Okay, so how did you even come up with this and get involved in this business? Uh, it's uh, the market shifting, I feel like, and people are not... Uh, so concerned with hiding it anymore and it's something that can be out in the open and so we're providing um, something that they can have in their house it's a beautiful piece to store and uh, use their cannabis on. Wow and this is actually sort of almost like a family business for you because you come from generations of craftsmen yes, in your sir. business right so how are you I guess learning from your family into putting into these tree trucks? Uh, it's just uh, I mean techniques and stuff that my grandfather has passed down to my uncle and then to myself now Okay, and Andrew, your co-founder of the company, was was this your idea? Did he bring it to you? Did you say, what are we doing? No, we actually got together one day, uh -huh. and we were going to a Mets game and started talking about how there was nothing in the market that was nice for you to store mm -hmm. any of your cannabis in. Uh -huh. And us both being advocates and, you know, partakers, uh -huh. it was like, hey, maybe we should talk about doing this. And by the seventh inning, we were locked in and I think a week later we started. It was a two year process of getting, you know, going through R&D and, you know, everything's based on function. Okay. Well, Heath, I have to ask you, how much weed do y'all smoke? <laughs> like, <laughs> to come up with an idea like this, it would seem to be that you were, maybe for medicinal purposes, yeah. partaking yeah. in some things to make sure you had something to help you with your yeah, our recreational Yeah, th our THC levels were definitely up there. Okay. <laughs> so when you came up with the idea, how did you know that it was a genuine idea and you weren't just, you know, getting the munchies and like, y'all, we need to come up with a box? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think we just knew from being in in the market for so long like mm. as someone who consumes cannabis that there wasn't anything out there mm. and we liked nice stuff mm. um, you know and the only way we knew that we were gonna be able to do it is if we created it so. and you mentioned nice stuff these things they're beautiful boxes they're very well made and they have some weight to them and can you show us how they work yeah, so uh, this is the large the main trunk here the tree trunk so it's got a rolling tray which builds right in uh, closes up, it locks. Uh, we have a USB port on this side to charge your vape. Wait a minute, vape it has pens, a USB port? Vape pens and vape accessories. Oh, that's uh, genius. And then on the inside, it's all uh, solid aluminum insert, and there's ambient lighting inside also. Wow. So you can store uh, that's jars crazy. and everything. Can you else. tilt it up a little bit? I yeah. want to show the lights that it has inside so you can see everything inside if you're in a dark room or something. That is genius. The quality of wood and materials you use is pretty impressive. And this is actually the only handmade cannabis storage box with locks on the market right now. Yes, right? Yep. See, you guys were ahead of everybody yeah, on yeah. this. So this was a great idea. And I like how, uh, you know, some boxes, especially like cigar boxes, they're either, either like open, they're like they close right back down, they just snap close. But yours actually has a tension hinge on it so it can stay up and almost be a display box as well, right? Right. And it was also so that you, it's fully functional. So you can put your strains up there, put your pipe in there. And then this can go right back in there, or it can all sit on top, too. So everything wow. is function-based. That is great. Now, I know because this is storing some important products for people, we want to keep it fresh as long as possible. Is there any type of humidor or, you know, temperature control inside the box that it keeps everything nice and dry? And so what we're providing oh, not dry, with, right? You don't want it to yeah, be dry. Yeah, we're providing with <laughs> UV glass and an airtight jar. Can I see this? So the only thing that can, uh, I guess, harm your cannabis is air and light. Oh, so okay. by storing it in there, there's, uh, I and, mean... And these are beautiful, too. It's very, it's yeah. like an art piece we in itself, super, We went you know? super high-end on everything. Super high-end. So how long could some cannabis last in these jars and in the box? I mean, as long as you want it. With no air and no light affecting oh. it, it'll really last, I mean... 
And people don't buy cannabis to store it. Oh, right. yeah. it's not, <laughs> you it's, don't buy it to store it, It's right. not like an 89 Barolo. <laughs> right. you know, where you're like, oh, I'm waiting for my, when my kid graduates high school, yeah. and I'm a, then I'm going to open it up. Like, That's you're, true. You're yeah. buying it, you're smoking it. Right, right. You buy, buy it and smoke it. So you have your large one. Yeah. You have the smaller version. Yeah. And what are these here? Uh, these are our two rolling trays. So there's the large one and then the mini tray here. Oh, look at these. And I like how, what is this, granite? It's solid quartz. quartz. Cor wow. Quartz, yeah. Bon porous. Beautiful. And so is this where you prepare your? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. so you prepare everything. And this, you can display things in this jar, this yeah, portion or that as can, well. That can be where you replenish and oh. keep, you know, your device or whatever you're using to put the weed in. Okay. Now, how, what is the price range for these three products? Uh, so 125, parts 125, 299, 299, 399, and 2250. Wow, and these are currently available at Chelsea Market. Where else yes, can people get them? Uh, on our website, mm -hmm. which is thetreetrunkco.com. Mm -hmm. And I love how you know it has a lot because, of course, if people don't want their children to get in Absolutely. through them or getting you know anybody to come over and take stash when they're not supposed to, right. you have the lock right. on there as well. That's yeah. great. Yeah. In-laws or mm -hmm. guests visiting, mm -hmm. you know, especially in New York, we you know both of us living in New York, like you're used to living in a small oh, area too, so. Yeah. We wanted to make it so it was something, you know, you're not putting your sock drawer anymore and you can have it mm. out and then nobody's messing with it. Yeah, because it's beautiful. And I guess, you know, you're a photographer, so is that part of your job to help with the aesthetics and the look of everything? Yeah, I mean, we worked on all of it uh, mm -hmm. as, a t as a team. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're, we're very image-based and, you know, if you look at the images on our site and the way we tell our mm -hmm. story through showing the hands craftsmanship and all of that comes from, um, you know, our background, but also us wanting to present something to be... Mm -hmm in that luxury category. Yeah. Well, it seems like the whole perception of cannabis has changed in recent years. Like we mentioned before, is now, you know, legal for recreational use in nine states and in Washington, D.C. What do you think is changing and what do you think the future of cannabis is? Uh, I mean, the future's endless. They're saying it's going to be worth more than soda pop in, by, in another 20 years or something like really? that. So, yeah. And it seems like a lot of people are, are having, you know, different types of partnerships, like you guys are partnering with a farm. What, tell us about your partnership. Yes, yeah, so we're partnering with an organic farm out of California to provide some of their luxury uh, storage units for their, their products out of California. Hmm. And it seems like that California is really getting a lot, because yeah. it's legal there, a lot of people are out there, and the business is booming. Where are you guys located, and do you think, I mean, you're in New York now, but do you think you will relocate to somewhere where it is more accessible and there are more clientele there? I don't think it's really, uh, that's not our concern. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, those markets are um, ripe for the picking, if you will, but mm -hmm. as soon as the numbers come in from California and New York's going to change, they're, they're all going to switch. It's Cannabis has been in the moonshine age of what alcohol was, where mm. you know you smoke it and you're gonna burn up and go to hell or something. Yeah. Like, it's people are understanding that there's actual good properties to it, and mm. there's tons of very successful people that that smoke it all around the world. And New York is actually the number one consumer of mm. uh, cannabis. cannabis. Really, I didn't yeah. realize that. Yeah. Well, you make a you by know, almost triple. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you make a great point. A lot of, there are a lot of celebrities and influencers out mm -hmm. there that are bringing, you know, people awareness to cannabis. Who are some of those people that you guys follow or are helping the industry? Oh, I mean, we've given out the, we've got our, some really strong people like Dave mm -hmm. Chappelle, Seth Rogen, ah, okay. uh, a couple others we probably won't announce on here. <laughs> but, um, uh -huh. yeah, everyone's loved all the product and we're getting a great response so oh i can imagine it's so beautiful mm -hmm. what would have uh some of your happy customers said about your box and how it was have it's helped them just they don't have to hide it anymore oh, okay. you know, it's just it's something that they're proud to present and proud mm -hmm. to have their stuff in and it's because the industry for too long it's been something that's been hidden you hide it in a sock drawer you hide it in mm -hmm. an old shoe box and now we're giving someone the opportunity to present it and in a beautiful way yes sir so which one is your most popular Hottest items to sell. Uh, I mean, the most popular obviously is this. I mean, yeah. it's just very you got appealing. Plenty of room yeah, in there. You got plenty of room. <laughs> yeah. and it, it does everything for you. It's it's locks and it's powered. And, mm -hmm. and you can buy them separately too. Yes. You can oh, yeah. create yeah. the package yeah. how you how you need uh, it to absolutely. be fit. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what's next for you guys? I'm definitely going to be growing. Yeah. But what's that? <laughs> <laughs> growing the <for> company? Yeah. <laughs> what else is next for your company? Uh, we've got an art collaboration that we're starting. Um, uh, both of our backgrounds, like we grew up with a lot of artists, so mm -hmm. uh, we've reached out to some that are advocates of well, not only the product but 
cannab consuming cannabis. So okay. that's going to be coming out uh, this summer. We've got some products. These two products are going to be custom art pieces too. Yeah, I love that. That'll all be limited edition. So. Yeah. And real quick, where can everyone again get the website? Uh, it's thetreetrunkco.com. All right, treetrunk.com. Tree trunk. The tree trunk. The tree trunk. Co. Co. Yeah. Yeah. Com. Thank you guys so much hey, for joining us. Thank you very us. much. We appreciate it. All right, it. and thank you for joining us. We'll see you on Monday.